In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up some insight in how to overcome a common problem that presenters have. How do you craft the title of your talk? A common error I see people make is they put too much information into their title and they don't use the right types of words. What do I mean by right types? You should have some emotion, you should have an action, and a result that the listener will receive if they listen to your presentation. Take the title of my new online course called Confidently Speak to Influence. What are some advantages of that? First of all, it's short. The shorter the message, the better. The easier it is for people to remember. It's got four words. Anything under 10 is ideal, but getting closer to that four is even better. It has an emotional world, confidently. It has an action, speak, and it has a result, influence. What questions does that stir up in the minds of the listener? Oh, I wonder how you can do that. Oh, I want that benefit. That's what I want my headline to do for that course. What if somebody reads it and they're not interested in being a confident speaker or they don't want to influence? They're going to move on and I'm fine with that. That's not my audience. We've talked about this in other videos. So often people send this broad message because they want to get everybody. That's not possible. You have a limited number of prospective people who want to hear your message. Why not target your message toward them? Three key elements of the title, what, what I would call the do's of title creation. Have an emotional word, have an action word, and a result. Before we go, here are two actions not to take. Number one, don't get cute with your title. And by that, I mean, don't try to be creative and be mysterious. Readers today are scanners. Think newspaper headlines. And if they see your title and it's not clear what action they may take or what the benefit is, they're going to move on. Leave your creativity for your presentation or your stories, not in your title. The other don't is don't confuse your audience. This was a huge mistake I made when I put together my online course that is now called Confidently Speak to Influence. The, the previous name was Stand Up, Speak Up, Stand Out. Can you see a problem with that title? I couldn't until I took it to my mentor, Darren, who is a former comedian. He looked at it and immediately said, oh, you've created a course about stand-up comedy. I said, enough said, back to the drawing board. I put so much work. I love it. I love the alliteration of stand, 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 speak up. I loved it was short. It, it was, it met all the elements except one. It was confusing to the reader. Just like with our speeches and stories, it's not about me. It's not about the speaker. It's not about you. It's about the people we're talking to. Confidently speak to influence is much more clear and it's two shorter words. How do you know if your title is confusing? I think you know the answer to this. Have other people read it. Share it with people you trust whose, whose perspective you know will give you an honest feedback and they'll tell you. And there you have it. That's how you create an effective title. Have an emotional word, an action word, and a result word. And do not get clever or cute and certainly don't confuse the reader. Tomorrow you'll hear a quick tip about what part of the speech creation process you should create your title. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.